Hello guys and welcome to a new video and today we have a video that has been requested so many times by many of you which is the best QQ9 loadout build so what makes this build special is the hipfire accuracy I mean the gun itself is already accurate and on top of that every single SMG received 20% hipfire nerf except for the QQ9 the nerf was 10% only so in this video I'll go through the build real quick then compare it to my Mac 10 build since it's the most popular SMG right now and after that we'll watch some intense gameplay of me basically lasering enemies and wiping squads with this build. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. When it comes to the build itself, there is one big decision you need to make. Do you go for the 10mm round mag or the 45 extended mag? Now last time I tested this, the 10mm had faster killing time but the difference wasn't that much. So I went with the 45 extended mag, not only because it has extra bullets but also because it has faster fire rate. And this may sound weird, but having faster fire rate somehow allows me to have better aim. But anyway, it's up to you and it's something you need to decide. Another thing worth mentioning, I went with the monolithic suppressor and the RTC barrel together because the damage range stacks and takes effect even at close ranges. As for the mods, you already know. A hipfire mod followed by an extender mod and a range mod. And if you manage to find a legendary fast ADS mod, then replace it with the range mod. One more thing before we jump into the gameplay, a quick comparison between this QQ9 build and the Mac 10 build I made in a previous video. So the Mac 10 has a fire rate of 1200 rounds per minute. As for the QQ9, it has a slower fire rate of 830 rounds per minute. Moving on to the killing times, first of all at 5 meters range and against an enemy with 300 HP, as expected the Mac 10 beats the QQ9 in every single part of the body. And at 20 meters range, the QQ9 dominates thanks to its range. And finally the hipfire comparison. And right here you can see that the QQ9 has slightly smaller crosshairs, which means it has better hipfire accuracy. I mean it's hard to notice at 5 meters range. But beyond that you'll notice that you can hit more of your shots with the QQ9 compared to the Mac 10. Plus the fact that it's easier to control with both ADS and hipfire. Now that we're done with the comparison we'll put this build to the test and we'll see how it performs in real action. I hope you guys enjoy. Something that I noticed this season, the game seems way easier compared to last season. I mean there are still hard games here and there, but last season almost every game was hard. No matter what time in the day you play. So I believe Activision changed the matchmaking again. But anyway, I'm landing in black market. And I know most players land in farm, but I'm tired of getting trash loot every time I land there. So black market is my spot these days. Get some loot, clean the area and then head towards other hot locations. Not a bad start, I had the loot I needed and a decent number of kills. And before I headed out, I upgraded my ninja class which according to you guys is getting a buff next season. So it's gonna have an extra hook just like before which is a very good news for me. One extra hook is literally a game changer. Then I headed towards farm but I heard shots coming from standoff. These guys were like Romeo and Juliet, just sitting there staring at each other. And I feel bad for ruining the moment, but I had to. Minute. 
Moving on to the next fight, I checked farm but nobody was there, which means everyone's out to get their loadout, so I headed there right away. And this is wrong by the way, driving straight to the enemies like this for a long distance will get you killed against a good enemy. But in my defense, I thought they were distracted and busy fighting, and the correct thing to do is to drive around them from the sides to make it harder for them to hit you. Airdrop incoming. By the way, this AK-47 that I stole from the enemy was really good and I finished the game with it and I had to check which attachments he was using. So here it is if you guys wanna try it.
So my final opinion on this build and the QQ9 overall, it's a solid gun. And it's so much fun to use. And compared to the Mac 10, I think the Mac 10 is better within 5 to 10 meters range when you're hugging the enemy. Especially against shotgun players. Thanks to the fast killing time and the high mobility. But beyond 10 meters, I think the QQ9 can be better as it allows you to hit more of your shots. And also the fact that it maintains the same killing time up to 15 meters. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and I hope you liked the build. And if you did, then a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.